Trump. In many ways, a very interesting person, highly unusual, and so on and so forth. God has blessed him in many, many ways. And I mentioned before many times, Trump is that person that is destined to lead America. I'd be interested to tell him this. Listen, God saved you, not by a miracle, by an open miracle. I mean, everybody sees that. It's just unbelievable. Uh, you know, even the biggest atheist has to say, wow, that's unbelievable to move your head a quarter of an inch right before the bullet strikes your head and would have split your head in two, right? That's, that's absolutely incredible. Even they begin to understand that God is in charge. This is not normal. Now, this isn't the only miracle. All these miracles of Trump, think about it, <clears throat> okay? Here's a guy who runs, he's a businessman, and he's running against a woman that has world recognition, Hillary, and he beats her. Nobody could believe. Then he beats 16 opponents. They are governors, senators, and he beats them. What about the indictments? How is it possible that all four indictments are either dismissed or delayed? It's unbelievable how he just walks away from all the indictments. You don't think that's a miracle? And then he's impeached. He's still impeached, right? They try to bankrupt the guy by getting him to pay a hundred and, what is it, a hundred and eighty million dollars? Are they out of their mind? What kind of a sentence is that? And they talk about cruel and unusual punishment. You have to laugh at this, right? And the incredible miracle that every time something happens to him, he goes up in the polls, right? Anybody else would have been finished after the first indictment. And then at every rally, the guy's got 50,000 people. You know, uh, Biden is lucky if he has 20 people. And also what is unusual, what surrounds Trump is a messianic fever. I mean, you have to see people are crying, thanking God that he's alive. Really? Why? You could be feel sorry that somebody was assassinated. Fine, but you don't cry over it. It's it's messianic. But then you take a look at this guy. He's 78 years old. Where does he get his energy from? By the way, that's an old man, basically. Where does he get his energy from? He's got to walk around with batteries connected to his arm. And then it's not only that. You have an idea what it is to be indicted four times, and he has the entire U.S. government against him. They're all after him. How do you withstand the onslaught? and the almost infinite resources of the government, how come he didn't have five heart attacks by now? And he's always been bad-mouthed by the Democrats, which is incredible. These are miracles. Any normal person, any person, would have been long ago rejected as being a candidate. But we know something else. But instead he missed, and he got his ear. Why? What, what is the symbolism of the ear? And the answer is, because God is saying to Trump, remember, you have a divine mission to save America, to make it into a righteous place, and to rid the world of evil. Right, do it. But do not listen to anybody else, because there are many people that are going to tell you, don't do it, you're acting too harsh or too severe, there's always naysayers around. So God is saying, if you listen to these people, you will cause blood. You will cause the destruction of many people. Be careful. Don't listen to people. Be careful. And the amazing thing is God does this right before the convention, Republican National Convention. Why? Because God says, before I assign you Physically and legally, you must hear this lesson. Not after you become the nomination. You need to hear this message before and figure out based on the fact that it's an open miracle. I do hope, of course, that Trump will hear this message and realize that his mission is much greater that he has to assume or understand that my request of him is divine. It's not simple to make people prosperous. No, I want a whole different kind of man. I want man who recognizes the greatness of man and will act, as they say in Yiddish, like a mensch, right? Where they will love one another. I need brotherhood, 
unity. He doesn't want these shenanigans that America is doing. Because America, I hate to say it, under Biden, has incredibly deteriorated in many ways to an evil nation. And God will not tolerate that. So therefore, miraculously, God wants Trump to lead America, uh, to stand up to the entire world. Thank you.